Listening to survivors' voices is very important. A few things come to mind on how we can best do that. First of all, to remember that people with these kinds of experiences may be in the room and that it may not be a safe place for them to talk about their experiences. So by saying no one's in the room who's had these experiences, we may be erasing survivors' voices. So just something to be aware of. The other, another thing would be informed consent. Many people that I've known haven't understand the full reach of the internet or how long stories may live that are printed in the newspaper. So informed consent is really important for people to understand the full reach of a story that may be written about them. Another thing to keep in mind would be consequences. When we ask someone to tell their story, they may be admitting to criminal behavior that could open them up to future discrimination or even to uh, legal um, consequences. Oftentimes when survivors tell their stories uh, in front of the media, for example, say at a press conference or at a rally around legislation, um, their words can be used out of context. And I think that there's a real danger in using survivors' voices for a political end. The best way to support survivors is to ask them first and foremost what their needs are and how we can support them. At the end of the day, they are the central people in this story and no one else. And so if we want to support the lives and the voices of survivors, we need to uplift them and we need to uplift, uplift their lives. The experience of being trafficked for many people doesn't define who they are. Survivors are family members, mothers, daughters, professionals, students, artists. Um, I've learned everything from survivors, from tactics to you know, deal with stress, which they're very good at. Um, how to build resilience, how to teach others to build resilience. I learned from clients what Broadway plays to go to and <laughs> places uh, to go to eat because they're people just like all the rest of us and the trafficking experience doesn't completely define them.